Hello sailors, this is the Dodger Kebab and you're watching the Monday Night Mailbag where I answer your questions unscripted off the cuff. Also, I might as well note here that normally I put in the background footage of World of Warcraft, usually footage I've taken from the server which I'm reviewing at the moment, but because I'm reviewing the Molten MOP server, I can't put the footage in because if they see it, they'll track down my character and ban my shit. So I've just put in a different random game altogether. Okay, let's start! A G asks, what's happening with Corecraft? Are they still working on the server? Yes, yes they are, a G. They are still working on the server. They don't put out many messages on their website, but on Twitter, you can find out when they're going to be doing the closed beta tests and you can apply for those in the IRC chat, which they do. So, uh, yeah, still going on. Somebody with a Minecraft avatar has said, Hey Dodgy, can you do a vanilla private server review? Yes, actually at some point I will be doing one. It will probably be Valkyrie Rail or if Kronos is finished, it will be Kronos. Um, I am sort of leaving my schedule open at the moment because I know that imminent Corecraft is imminent so I'm not committing to any private server reviews apart from the Molten MOP one which is almost done anyway so that'll be out at some point in the future but I don't have to worry about the collection of footage because that's almost done. Last Hope says hey Kebab tell us your top three private servers you ever played with a smiley face at the end. At some point Last Hope I'm gonna be doing some sort of top 10 private server review list thing video watch it called but I think I need to review a few more private servers yet before I can really legitimately say I have a top 10 list. Uh, I know you've only asked for three, but to be honest, a list of three would make a pretty crappy video. So anyway, in the future that is, but at no point really soon. Vortox Amazonia says, wow, you actually did do Stormstout. Are you going to do a full video, not shortcuts? A nice review. I'll join you in Atlantis when it gets to 4.3.4. Okay, um, yes. I am doing Molten's MOP, not Stormstout though, that's a little curveball I'm throwing out there, doing the other one. And uh, that character you saw at the end of this one, that's not my real character on, on there either. I can't give out the name because I'm going to get banned the second they find out. Well, I think I will. You never know, they might like it. I don't think they will. Somebody who's been watching the channel for quite a while, yes I do see the comments, I Ram Your Mother asks, Dodgy, do you plan on starting up the Old Whale vs New Whale series in the future? Yes, actually, the next video, after this mailbag video, is going to be another, the next one in the series in fact, it's got all the footage collected and believe it or not, it is from Warlords of Draenor, so it is going to be THE New Whale. So, but that, that's coming, that's uh, not far along in the future actually, so yeah. Some proper spastic monkey says, This twat says Corecraft is best. It's not even out to play. Hey moron, take a look at old games called RuneScape. Very similar to what happened to WoW. One guy decided to make a site specifically for an older version of RuneScape called RuneScape 2006. He ran the site for a while, accepted donations in order to convince people that he was going to release the game. He accepted all the donations and then shut the web website down. Robbed many little children, obviously. This is the same strategy being pulled by Corecraft. No, it's not. If people don't realise it, please click the donate button on their website. Bunch of suckers. Okay, here's where you've gone totally wrong. People are playing Corecraft. This is the difference. It's not just some pie in the sky shit. People are doing the closed beta test right now. In fact, if you bothered to pull your head out of your arse and got on Twitter, you would have found out that they're giving away keys through their IRC chat, which I've already mentioned on this video once. So stop being a cock and just stop being a cock. Undone Jack says, I'm sorry, I can't watch your videos without getting hungry. I know what you mean, mate. I've just whacked on a pizza and some goujons for myself. Cohen asks, where do you get these games? He's talking about the free PS3 games video that I did a little while back. Well, they're all on the PlayStation Store, mate. Just have a look. I'm pretty sure I showed how to do that in the video. Ginger Geddon says, I'm new here. How did he get banned for Molten? Basically, every review that I make, I post a copy of it on that server's forum. I did this with my Cataclysm server review of their on Molten, posted it on their forum, and it got taken down straight away. They didn't like it because it was pretty negative. They liked and left my positive review of their Wrath of the Lich King one on there, but they took this straight down. When I reposted it, because I thought, I thought it was being cockheads and I thought they should at least address the issues that I had, they didn't want to know, took it down. And uh, third time lucky, I put it up and they took it down, banned my account totally outright, and basically it spiralled from there. So, cockheads really. 
And the last question of the night comes from Zabra Goz. Obviously, that's his name. Why do you only play Warrior? Well, I'll go one further than that. Why do I only play a Warrior Prot tank human? Well, this is because if I make the same character on every server every time I do a review, it's like a it's like a fair baseline for everyone. Not a sort of Squillex baseline which goes all over the place, but a fair fair way to judge everything. I make the same character and do the progression exactly the same every time. That way, it's a sort of fair way of judging it. I know it can be difficult because different servers have different content, all the rest of it, but it's the fairest way of doing it. So that's why. And I like Warrior, and I'm a good tank, that's why. Okay, lads, that is the end of Monday Night Mailbag for today, and the next one will be in a fortnight's time. Uh, the other upcoming videos I've got is the next Old WoW vs New WoW video, that'll probably be the next one I do. Also in development, I've got the Molten's MOP video, that should be an interesting one. Beyond that, nothing is set in stone. Um, I have my eye on Valkyrie WoW, that could be up, but also we're getting near to the end of the year, and so we're looking at a possible core craft release. I know there's been a lot of closed betas recently, so it's looking very busy over there. You never know, but I'm not going to hold them to a release date. But anyway, that's it for me. For more Dodgy Kebab videos, click on one of the annotations on the screen now, or follow me on social media like Twitter and Facebook, where I post behind the scenes footage and links to other videos that are not posted on the Dodgy Kebab main channel.